Hi, I'm Major League Fishing Pro Jeremy Lawyer, and I want to talk to you today about a technique uh, that is something that's very popular in the Midwest, and that's dock fishing. And I say technique, but dock fishing implies a lot of different techniques, and that's depending upon the season, depending upon the conditions, you know, a lot of different things. But you know, one of the ways that you can always approach a boat dock, and that's with a jig. It's probably my favorite way. I love to get a Denali 7 foot 10 inch flipping stick, 25 pound sunline shooter, and a big freedom tackle structure jig, and just flip it in the boat docks, around the boat docks. You know, it comes in a lot of colors, jigs all over the world to wear. You can have a perch style, you can have a a crawdad design, you can have whatever it might be to fit the application for dock fishing wherever you are in the country, you know. One of the biggest myths I think that people have about fishing a jig around the boat dock, or just a jig in general, is that they've got the wrong color or whatever. I'm gonna change color jigs. I'll tell you what I like to do. I like to change the trailer more than I do the jig. If I'm throwing something that has a lot of movement on it, uh, like a Zoom Z Crawl Junior, and I'm not getting any bites, I'm gonna take it off and maybe put on a big salty chunk that doesn't have any movement, or a creature style bait that doesn't have any movement, you know? Something that's uh, really small, downsize it to like a zoom speed crawl, you know? And then maybe I might jump it up there to something like a full brush hog on there, depending on the time of the year. But I really don't change the color of my jig that much. I like some crawdad colors, I like some perch looking colors, and I like the dark blacks and blues. And so you can kind of keep it simple like that. But as you go through the year, you know, a jig starts off in the season really well because it's pre-spawn, the water's cool, lots of crawdads are starting to move around, fish are starting to move up on the bank, and you can fish it around wood, anything that's around the boat dock as well. So it's just a really good way to approach boat dock fishing. But as it comes on, these fish are gonna use these boat docks on into the spring. They might even spawn around the poles if you got pole boat docks or you got floating boat docks and you got walkways and it just gives the fish a lot of different cover. A lot of the people that own these boat docks want to put brush around them. You know, it's just something that has a lot of different styles, a lot of different ways to approach them. And that may be with a crankbait. You may be cranking it really hard trying to get a reaction bite. Might be throwing a topwater around them. I love to throw a buzzbait around them in the fall. So boat dock fishing is a technique but depending on the season, there's gonna be a ton of different ways that you can approach it. And it depends on the, the area of the U.S. that you're in as to what style of boat docks and how much the fish relate to them. You know, like if you get down south on a lot of uh, grass lakes that have some boat docks, they don't really relate to them quite as much because they have so much grass out there to relate to. Where at home, say Grand Lake of the Cherokees, doesn't have any trees in it. It's got some offshore structure, but it's littered with boat docks. So the fish really, 24 uh, or 12 months a year, they really relate to them. And so keep that in mind. So don't get intimidated by a boat dock. Just try and think about what season it is, whether you need a top water, or you need to flip a jig, whatever it might be, and then approach it that way. And I believe you'll be surprised at how many fish live around the boat docks.